I am now recording. Yay! Uh. Yeah, so, word of warning for people who try to do this. It comes up as a small window. If you try to make it like a full screen window thing, there is no actual settings I can find in the game for this. So when you hit the little squares to make it larger, it might possibly crash your game. Just as a warning. Um, I, as you can see, I've already played for like an hour. Uh, but I want you guys to see the awesome silliness in the beginning of the game. Because it is freaking hilarious. I'm going to play classic mode. It's the same as my other one. I'm not going to be too concerned about saving. So I'm going to read this. The story we are about to tell is fictionary. All characters and events appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons, living or undead, is pure, purely coincidental. And yes, I get time to switch it up. <laughs> purely coincidental. My lord. I can't even pronounce what the fuck that dude just said. It's like preparation shish. Oh, they're doing the hissing sound ish thing because of the tea. Okay. Has been finished. Excellent. Is the flux capacitor at maximum power? Absolutely, my lord. And the four elemental mana crystals overflow with energy, my lord. Marvelous. My plan is finally coming together. The gate to the ultra world are about to be opened. We just need a virgin's blood and then... The universe will be mine! <laughs> Your evil laugh sucks, Emma. No offense. Oh, would you rather hear this one going? <laughs> Yes, that actually sounds better. And that's gonna be recorded, by the way. <laughs> um, actually, I had such dreadful expectations from this experiment that last night I had a party and... What? Yep, great party. It was awesome, bro. I got laid. No way, me too. High five. This cannot be. I'm guessing someone didn't get laid. No, the- well, not that, but the experiment was a failure because everything exploded. Uh. I'm not watching you do this, so you need to tell me when there's a scene switch. Sorry. Well, it's switched to the main characters of the game now, which is in like a modern day world like ours. Ah! No! Game, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why I did that. No, it like bugged out. No, don't bug out like that. Stop it. Um, this is totally not DK messing with the, the game. Nope. Okay, anyways. So, uh, the one guy is saying, Awesome! Role playing Big Night. I hope we'll start a new D&D &D campaign. I'm so excited. Why am I not surprised at this? <laughs> well, the game is called Doom and Destiny, so... I don't know anything about D&D, &D, but all you talk about is D&D &D and, you know, the sub-games that come off of D&D, &D, and all of a sudden, the game you're playing has D&D &D in it. Not to mention the show you recommended to me had D&D &D in it. <laughs> you are so fucking obsessed! <laughs> Just so okay. you know, my goal here is to kill you with laughter for your viewers. Um, by the way, DK, there are actually other references to other things in this game besides D&D. Like, really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Guy2 says, Calm down, Nigel. Benjamin, the game master, told me that he wanted to play something different. Something that's not the usual D&D. Guy2. What? Are you sure, Mike? Crap. I spent the entire afternoon filling out the character sheet for tonight. Guy 4. Easy, Johnny. Uh, this one is... Shoot, was it, what was his name? That poor guy. Those it, are character sheets. It was it Johnny. Shoot, I forgot his name already. Uh, Francis there was is the Benji. redhead. Nigel is the red... Oh, no, not Benjamin. Nigel is the blue one. Uh, J 
Johnny is the redhead. Francis is the green one. The other redhead. What's the other name I just said? I have terrible memory. Dude, you mentioned a Benjamin <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, that's the game master. That's not his name. Anyways, uh, this guy says, yeah, Francis is right. Chillax, Johnny, it's just a game. And Francis says, last time I heard the master, he told me exactly the same. He wants to play something new. Nigel says, come on, guys, let's go on, let's go inside. And then it's just telling you how to play the game, which I already know how to do, so let's get through that. And I'm, can I bring it, oh, damn, I have no menu options yet. Okay. We must play the game. Okay, so I went and knocked at the door, and, uh, Francis says that there doesn't seem to be anybody home. I can grab the shovel in the garden, and the one guy says, why would we pick up the shovel? Nigel says, it might be useful. Uh, Francis says, yeah, and a, a muck? I don't know what that means. Uh... Johnny says, good. At least I think I'm getting their names right, whatever. I only played it for like an hour yesterday. And there's an open door, let's go through the open door to the basement. A muck, isn't that a Pokemon, that sludgy one? Yeah, but it was spelled A-M-O-K, which does not sound a right. A mock. A mock. Oh! Oh! Oops. <laughs> yeah, okay. muck would normally be spelled with a U. <laughs> I know, that's why I was like, I don't know what they were trying to spell. Uh, and I'm terrible at spelling <laughs> and grammar. Why do I have to correct someone who's in college? Hey, 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 hey. I have a degree in mathematics, not spelling. Hey, I have a GED. <laughs> I failed life, okay? <laughs> okay, let me put it this way. I, I spell better than my stepmother. How about them apples? <laughs> I, I spell better than my mom. She <laughs> asked me how to spell banana. B-A-N-A-N-A. B-A-N-A-A-N-A-Y-A. Yeah. <laughs> Banania! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, they're in the basement, and Nigel says, is this Benjamin's cellar? Johnny says, well, it is where that should be, but it's different from usual. Francis says, guys, did you notice these dragon statues? The other person says, this place looks cleaner. Nigel says, yeah, you're right. Francis is like, guys, these statues are strange. I haven't seen them before. Johnny, perhaps they are just scenery parts of Benjamin's game. Uh, the one guy whose name I can't remember. That's why he cleaned the whole room. Nigel, awesome. Francis, oh boy. Investigate statues results in nothing. Nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the crate. Oh look, there's a sparkling dresser. I found potato chips. Oh, the dresser next to it has loca cola. Nothing on that shelf. Oh, cutscene. Johnny says, "What is this stuff?" Uh, the other guy goes to try and open the door, and it says he needs a red key. That's weird. The door to the game master's playroom is locked. It says we need a red key. Francis, this stuff looks like a bunch of instructions for a role-playing game. Johnny says, Doom and Destiny. D&D! Nigel, boring. Francis, do you want to hear it or not? I'm going to just like, yes, I really want. I'm getting a whole Jumanji feel out of it. <laughs> Francis, it looks like a standard RPG. You just have to go around, collect keys, open doors and chests, and apparently even wardrobes and closets. You kill monsters and upgrade to new levels through experience points. A uh, guy whose name I can't remember. Ain't that cool. Johnny, sounds good. Nigel, go back to the upgrading part. How does it work? Francis, it says that when you gain a new level, the player can use three points to increase the four main er, abilities. I was going to say attributes. Might, charisma, grit, and dexterity. Johnny, any special powers? Francis, hmm, let me see. Yes. It says that you can find and buy special powers for each character that can be equipped and removed whenever you want. Still, in order to be equipped, each power requires a certain number of power points, which are based on ability scores. Nigel, so the higher my ability scores are, the more power points I get, and the more power powers I can equip. 
Francis. Yeah, you are right. I'm amazed. One power point when a base ability score hits 15, another one hits 21, next at 28, 36, 45, and so on. Johnny. Sounds easy. Guy who can't remember. Coo. He says coo instead of cool. Unless that's a typo. No, that does not look like a typo. There's no key near the L that looks like that whatever the fuck that thing is. That's not a quote. Semi quote. You whatever can always you screenshot it. Eh, too lazy for that. Because remember, uh, the thing's been bugging on me. <laughs> uh, Francis says, in order to avoid messing up as we usually do when we play an RPG, we have to decide which role each one of us should pick. Nigel jumps up with an exclamation point. I'll play a super sorcerer, warlock, leader, badass hero with high charisma. Francis, okay. Nigel, and look what I found here. I, a power for my class. And I tamed the spell Magic Missile, and it does not look like the Magic Missile from D&D. It looks like a rocket. <laughs> a guy whose name I can't remember. Lucky bastard. Nigel, now I can cast a Magic Missile if I equip this power. Johnny, come on, try it. And then it's just having me equip it real quick for Nigel. Mike! That's the other guy's name. Okay. <laughs> Nigel, awesome. Johnny, I want to play a fighter with tons of might. Francis, I'll be a nimble and honorable ninja. Dexterity is my second name. Mike, or the, Nigel's saying this. Mike, you're the last one. We need a healer. Why don't you play a cleric? Johnny, yeah, without a healer, it gets really hard playing an RPG. Mike has a light bulb above his head, jumps up, and says, I'm a pirate! Francis, what? Are you nuts? You can't be a pirate while I'm a ninja. There's a chance that all life as we know it, or as you know it, would instantaneously stop, and that every molecular, or molecule in your body explodes at the speed of light. Johnny, he is right. Whatever he said. <laughs> Apparently Johnny's not bright. Nigel, plus we need a healer. Come on, what about a cool paladin devoted to a mighty and vengeful god? Mike, well, what about a pirate who is a paladin of a god who is who is a huge flying monster made of spaghetti? That is literally what the game says, DK. I'm pretty sure I've heard of a spaghetti monster before, but... <laughs> it's probably referencing it. Yeah, I think it's a Russian thing. Uh, Francis says whatever. Nigel. Yeah, the important thing is, don't mess everything up as usual. Mike. Hurrah! And Francis says one last thing. We need a leader. Nigel. Yeah. Johnny. Why? <laughs> Francis. Because during a battle, according to where we decide to fight, whether up front or to the rear, the leader can give different types of bonuses. Mike, and what if I want to stay in the middle? Francis, no bonuses for those to stay in the middle. Francis, being the most charismatic guy of our party as a leader, I'd boost mana and spirit. Johnny, what a pussy. Being the strongest among us, I'd boost health and strength. Francis, a bunch of, er, says, what a bunch of slowpokes. The real deal is evasion and speed. Johnny says, what about you, Mike? Mike says, I don't know. Nigel is like, come on, make up your mind. Mike, I think grit is the most important quality in an adventure, so I think I'd boost resistance to unfavorable stats and critical hit. Nigel, what? Mike, yeah, you know, resistance to poisoning, confusion, burning, abilities down, and so on. And chance to double your damage with a critical hit. Johnny, sounds useless. Johnny, you are so dumb. <laughs> Critical hits and resistance are useful! Mike, you are useless. Don't expect my help when the evil, jinxing monster hits you. Nigel, come on, let's choose the leader. Tactics. Um, ch -ch -ch. I initially, when I first did this, did have him in the front. Press 10 to HK. You in the back. You can stay there. You can go front. Okay. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize I could do that. Okay. You broke.
broke it, didn't you? No, I just realized I can actually switch who is actual leader. Ah, so I want this dude. Because minus two to resistance says the plus one to criticals. in the back in case you get questions. Okay. Mike, I am the leader! You're a Crisis. Okay, I think we are done. But I'll take these handbooks with us just in case we need to revise the rules of the game. Okay. And then, yeah, so I need that the menu thing. I found a hammer! Mike says... Ta-na-na! -na! Can't touch this. 